Sup guys, I'm back, and today we're going to be doing another figure review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla The Ride figure. Yes, guys, this is such an amazing figure, but before we dive into detail with this figure, we got to take a look at this figure's box real quick. Hey, can, can you guys see me? Probably not. Because this is the box. It is a really big box. Like, I literally had to move the camera up so you can get the box in the frame. And even, I don't even think the whole box can get in the frame. But here is the box art. It is really cool box art. The only grape I have with it is that I wish it was colored, but it's just a box. But, uh, yep, yeah, we have, I do not know what this says, but I think this says guys all the ride. I think this is X plus 30 centimeter line. X plus garage toy. Ben and Namico. And sides, cardboard, top cardboard, bottom cardboard. And the back, the bottom, we get a bunch of legal stuff. So enough with the box. Now we can dive into detail with the figure himself. All right, guys, here we are with the X Plus 30 centimeter Geisel of the Ride figure. And as you know, if you saw my unboxing video, the first thing you will notice about this figure when you take him out of the box is that he is enormous. Like he is the biggest X plus figure I have in my collection and the second biggest figure in general that I have in my collection. And you will see in the size comparison later on in this video. But this Godzilla is a very unique design because this is a Godzilla that has not appeared in an official movie. It has appeared in a theme park ride in Japan. And I would love to go to on that ride, on that theme park ride. But again, all the way in Japan, I'm a college student. Don't really have the money for that, nor the time. But uh, yeah, this figure, guys, he is amazing. He is one of the best figures I have in my collection. And... Let's start off with the sculpt and paint. The sculpt on this guy is absolutely amazing. Like the head sculpt just looks awesome again, but we do not have a lot to go on. Like we don't have a lot to go off of when looking at the head sculpt. We just have the one video on YouTube of the ride and that video is not in the best quality, but the figure, the head looks amazing. I think the, the whole body the detail just looks amazing. And one thing I noticed about this Godzilla here is that he looks like he's like a tank. Like the armor on this guy, the armor plating just looks ridiculous. Like no bullets, no missiles, no type of gun is going to penetrate this Godzilla's skin. Like he is basically looks impenetrable. And you can definitely see that on the back. Like the back, look at his like, Look at the skin, like, beneath the spines. Like, it is, he's armor-plated like crazy. Like, again, nothing is going to be penetrating this guy's little, No type of firearm will be penetrating this guy's little skin. But uh, the head sculpt, again, looks amazing. The whole figure, the color-wise, is like a mixture of, like, a, I think at least, like, a black and, a, like, a brown. Like, especially with the spines. And, by the way, the spines look really, really good. And I'm getting big Shin Godzilla vibes from the spines here and as you know in my unboxing video this guy right here if i can point out the camera like this top part right here was broken off uh it would broke off in shipping but i just used some standard crazy glue and fixed that issue right there so yeah and also the other issue with this guy's little figure that i had was that the feet were warped where he was not standing flat-footed and you know, it's better than what it was, but I still have not completely fixed that. And also, speaking of his feet, these things are absolutely massive. Like, he has GMK size feet. Like, they're absolutely massive. Like, this Godzilla feels like a combination of so many Godzilla designs. I'm getting big, legendary Shin Godzilla, obviously Millennium with the GMK feet, and uh, some Heisei vibes as well. Like, especially the, the head... Looks like the Cybot 84, um, Cybot 84 head sculpt. It looks great. Um, just the detail on this figure, I can't get over how good it is. And tail looks great. 
And uh, you force, you had to use the hair dryer to heat up the base of the tail to get it in there. And in, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was, but it wasn't that hard really. But yeah, detail wise, this guy's great. You know, his arms, his legs, his chest. He's just detail wise. He's just off the charts. He's amazing with the detail. And now let's go on to articulation. The quickest segment in this video because he has none. No articulation in this figure whatsoever. But he doesn't need it because the pose he is in is absolutely amazing. I love the pose he's in. It just looks like he's ready to fight Ghidorah. No, he just... It's a battle ready pose. But yeah, this figure, guys, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, now you get to see how big this figure is because it is now time for size comparison. All right, guys, for our first size comparison, I thought that this would be a pretty good sense of scale because we all know the size of this figure. This is the SH Monstars Biolante special color version, and she looks so small compared to the ride figure. Like, Biolante. I thought Biolante was a big figure. Like, if you watch my unboxing video of that, I was blown away how big that figure was. But my reaction to the size of this figure was on a whole nother level. Like, this figure is absolutely massive. So when you get this figure, definitely clear up some, some shelf space for him. Like, he goes on my top shelf. Like, he's not going to fit on any of my other shelves. But yeah, that's the first size comparison with the Monster Arts Biolante Special Color version. All right, guys, for our next size comparison, we have him next to the NECA Godzilla 2014 24-inch long version and the X Plus 30-centimeter diamond reissue Mecha Godzilla 1993. And 93 is the tallest out of this bunch, but this guy is just so much, like, mass-wise, he's just so much bigger, like, this is definitely the biggest X plus figure I have with height combined with mass. Like even though this guy is the tallest, this guy just is just bigger, just such a much more impressive figure than a 93. And although I love this guy so much, he's got him beat out. All right, guys, here he is with the only figure that in my collection that has him beat on height and mass. And that is the, Jack specific Godzilla 2014 figure. Uh, he is so tall that he does not fit in the frame, and I do not have his tail on because here, let me show you what his tail looks like. Um, yeah, his tail is pretty big. He would not be able to fit. Oh, he would not be able to fit completely on my desk. So, yeah, that is the only figure in my collection that has the X Plus Godzilla the Ride figure beat on height and mass. So yeah, now that we have the size comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. All right, guys, to conclude this review, this figure is amazing. He is a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend that you pick this figure up. He is my second favorite Godzilla figure in my collection. The only one beating him is my Sakai 84. Nothing's beating that, but he does beat out the 30 centimeter 84, which is... Very high praise from my collection because I have such high praise for that figure. But yeah, this figure, his size, his detail, just, he's amazing. And if you guys have not picked this figure up or are contemplating picking this figure up, I highly recommend that you do that as soon as you can because this figure is not going to get any cheaper. It's just going to go, the price is just going to go up, up, and up. You know, it's just going to get higher and higher and higher. So I highly recommend that you pick this figure up as soon as you can. And also, guys, I hope you're staying safe right now, at least if you're in the northern countries or anywhere, at least, but in the northern states because of this giant snowstorm that we're getting right now. Uh, please be safe, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. All right, guys, thank you just so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, oh my God, Zilla one Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.